today uh, the topic is I wouldn't change anything this vlog should be the first vlog in October and um, it's basically based off that question that like people be asking like if you if you were to travel through time or if a future version of yourself was to come and meet you like say the person who you are at 33 was gonna meet you when you were like 25 or like 17 or like even 10 11 like would you warn them would you go to that point in time in your life and would you warn them about all the pitfalls or would you just go forward and let yourself be yourself and like my answer to that question is i wouldn't change anything like i've gone through a lot of through a lot of stuff that I'm gonna get into throughout the course of the month. But um, one thing I've learned from my experiences is that, you know, this life is something where you have purpose and it's, you know, not really meant to be taken for granted. You know what I mean? It uh, It's not really meant to be taken for granted and not. I'm just doing this little vlog before work, so you know, I'm in my little work outfit, whatever, but uh, yeah, just going back to it, I wouldn't change anything, you know, like, um, at the end of the day, I think from time to time, I think a lot about how things have gone and how I wanted things to go, like, I had dreams of, like, artwork I made as a child like getting like put into galleries and shit like that and then at a point in time I lost all that artwork and uh, it was really heartbreaking because one thing you realize about art even from a young age when I lost some corrupted files you learn from a young age with technology that or like even like pen to paper like nothing is too permanent you know like once once I draw that caricature and I sell it I never see it again you know what I mean once I once I make some art and I give it away, that energy, that whole like, uh, that whole pocket of time that I've encapsulated in my art is basically given to the people or to myself when the art is done and when the art is ready. And it's like, you just learn over time as an artist that nothing is too permanent, you know? Like, even with the music or even with like, my channel or with things that are like I do to leave a legacy there's no telling how far how deep that legacy will stretch because my main motivation for doing a lot of the content that I do is to have somewhat of an impact on my family's life or like on the impact of you know people who have directly impacted my family or who have directly impacted me. It's my way of keeping up with people, you know, like sometimes people wonder, how are you doing? So I try to stay consistent with these vlogs. So like, if they're just wondering, you know, how you doing, Ryan? You know, I'm here to, I'm here to accommodate that. But that even ties into the topic of why, you know, I wouldn't change anything. It ties into the topic because it's like the people that I met along the way, the people that changed my life, the people that decided to help me through tough times, like the people who really helped me, like there's there's no telling who I would be if I didn't meet those people. And a lot of people that are currently in my life, I met through chance happenstance, you know what I mean? Like I just... I met them through random series of events. Like my engineer, I met him through a DJ I went to high school with. My uh, one of my, my favorite beat makers. Okay, two two stories. One of my favorite beat makers lived two doors down from me. 
in my original apartment building and then the other one of my favorite beat makers was my roommate for about three years and we finished an album during those three years and made a lot of progress towards the second one as well and um you know it's just random how you meet these people and it's like you know there's my boy blaze you know it's it's a lesser known story but we actually met in covenant house and um when we were there he was just rapping at a table and he was just you know working on a song or something and i approached him and i'm like hey man i see you doing your thing fucking you you use a rapping nigga <laughs> And then uh, he hit me back and he gave me a track for a feature and then uh, I finished it the next day, literally like one day I, I, I finished the track because I ha actually had a, had a studio session booked the next day. So even doing all that while, you know, being without a home, you know, I, I, I got it cracking, you know what I mean? I kind of showed him who I was. But like all these like random like happenstance events, like there have been so many times where these people have needed me and I've had to show up for them. Like, for example, my friend Melanie supported me when I was homeless and, you know, she brought me food, she brought me, you know, stuff for the home. She brought me stuff that actually got stolen from me during that same, during that same stay. And it just goes to show people don't really care how down bad you are like they'll still steal from you even if you have nothing even if you don't even have a place to claim they'll still steal from you you know what i mean but yeah she melanie helped me out crazy when i was going through some problems my friend tiffany reached out to me when i was going through some going through some mental health i was having like an episode and uh she really showed up in like the in like a pinch in a pinch, you know what I mean? And she, she really showed, you know, that she's, you know, she's, she's just, she cares, you know? And um, that if I go further into people who I met randomly, like I met my boy Jeff randomly, he always be giving me health advice or like good advice to, for like, for like my body, good advice for my health. And like, this goes back to why I wouldn't change anything because it's like the advice or like the, the mentoring I've gotten from certain people, it's, you know, it's it's out of this world, like, the, the people that have come to help me, and it's, like, even my homie Bo, like, he, like, I met him completely randomly, like, I think we met through, like, social media or something, we, we met through Facebook, if I'm not mistaken, and um, I just hit him up because I like his content, and then eventually we ended up chilling, we ended up going to events together, we ended up linking up, you know, doing all the, all, like, kind of, like, doing like little business things and like just shooting the shit with each other and we became friends. And like a lot of the people who are in my life currently have like shown why, why they're there, why they are there. And um, it's it just goes to show like certain people have like a purpose or a, a reason or like a reason for being in your life. And like even at a point in time you know, when the question of purpose was brought to me, I later figured out the purpose was just to be, or the purpose was just to be myself or to be the best version of myself I can be, and um, be the best version of myself I can be for others as well. Like, how can I help you? How can I make your day better? You know what I mean? Like, it took me a lot of time in getting past some trauma and some anger and like, I'm always going through some trauma or some anger and I really want it to stop. Like, I just want to be in a point where I don't feel as hurt by certain things that have happened. But like, one thing I've learned about growing is like, shit can happen to you when you're young and it can still affect you all the way into your old age or into your older age. And like, you never really forget the things that kind of like take up that space. And like, speaking about that, like like negative memories or negative emotions or just negative experiences seem to take up so much space in the mind like sometimes i just want to be free of all my negativity so i could just project a more positive like peaceful ride into the world you know what i mean and like i'm not saying that i'm not always positive and peaceful but sometimes i'd be you know 
running at the lip or sometimes I'd be saying some shit people don't agree with or some shit that's, you know, a little bit, you know, mean, whatever, but like, I, it just comes from a place of trauma, you know, and like, I'm still trying to deal with like, how to, how to be a better version of myself while also not changing anything because like, if I went back to the past and if I changed myself or if I warned myself, who's to say the person that I would become would be better than the person I am now if they didn't know what was coming. Like I've done pretty well, you know, basically blindsided by life at every at every occurrence, at every happenstance. And it's like, I've noticed that I'm really resilient and that I can actually handle a lot of like, a lot of bad times or handle a lot of, a lot of harsher occurrences without losing my way or without losing my place in the world. And like, just kind of wrapping up the topic, but I wouldn't change anything because of all the people I met, because of all the people that changed my life. And I didn't mention everyone in this video. There's a lot of people that have, you know, used their altar power, or their altar magic, and, you know, shown me the true depth of their soul, and they've actually helped me out. And, you know, I try to make it like a thing, like, in my head, like, I won't work for somebody unless, or work for or with somebody, unless I actually like them, or unless I actually, like, fuck with the energy. And it's like, even if I reach out to you, I'm not doing it because I'm like, you know, trying to see what I can get from you. I actually, I actually really uh, genuinely like you if I make time for you. And um, I'm just gonna leave it at that, you know? I, I wouldn't change anything. For all the memories we've made, for all the things we've done, for all the recording sessions, for all the, for all the drunk times, for all the food times, for all the, just all the times, like, I can't change it, man. Like, I love who I am and I love who I'm becoming and I just wanna keep it like that. Anyway, y'all have a good night, day, afternoon, evening, wherever you at, have a good day. Check out the Patreon, patreon.com slash the world still spins. Still trying to figure out what to do with that, but that's an ongoing process. I'll, I'll keep y'all updated. But, um, yeah, man, just, uh, just have a good day, and, uh, you know, maybe leave in the comments, like, would you change anything, like, if you really had the opportunity to go through your life and change one event that was, like, pivotal in your life that you knew would hurt you, would you go back to change it? You can leave that in the comments if you want, or leave a positive comment, or, you know, something nice if, you know, the video helped you in some way, maybe leave a funny comment. But uh, yeah, man, just enjoy your day, y'all. Peace.